Hello guys and welcome to a new video and it's my first ever gameplay video in the new season 8 and the blackout map where I had a pretty intense game against some decent enemies. So the first thing I want to say is that I'm really loving and enjoying this map and I actually haven't played a single game and isolated this season. There are two things that I noticed from the players regarding this map. First of all, a lot of players saying that COD copied PUBG Mobile on the blackout map, which doesn't make any sense at all. This map is an original Call of Duty map. They didn't copy anyone. Second of all, and the most popular complaint about this map which is it being too open and that's something i totally agree with if you're outside the main locations then you're most likely gonna have a fight in an open area with almost no cover there are few rocks around not many trees and most of the ground is flat and there are barely any mountains or even small hills to gain a high ground advantage from but i wouldn't blame activision for this this is how the map is built guys and honestly they did an amazing job transferring it into mobile with such accuracy and detail so what you need to do is accept the fact that this map is built for an open area fights and then adapt to it. So guns like snipers can be perfect for this map. As for classes, I believe the smoke bomber is the best here. So for me, blackout was a bit rough in the start, but once I got used to it and became familiar with most of the locations, I started to enjoy it and win more games against high tier players. But anyway, if you don't like it, then Isolated is still there. And I'm glad Activision made the decision to keep it as a main map. And I hope they don't change that. It's really good to have two main maps as it makes the game more interesting for the players. Another thing you'll notice that I'm playing with a random squad. And the reason for that, because when I play solo, I mostly get bots and weak players. But when I join with a full squad, the game becomes more challenging with many real players. So my favorite place to land is the construction site. And I'm sure most of of you would agree that it's the best landing spot on this map. There is so much loot and you mostly get a helicopter and there is an upgrade terminal right next to it. Not to mention the fact that a lot of players land here so you get some juicy early game action. But in this game we landed on Turbine which is also one of my favorite places to land even if it's not highlighted. And you know one thing I noticed the highlighted areas aka high tier loot areas doesn't mean shit on this map. You can land on a highlighted area and end up having the worst loot on the map. And from what I've seen through all the games I played I noticed that the loot is fixed to each location. Doesn't matter if it's highlighted or not it's kind of the same every game so back to the game we cleaned turbine and we went out for some action Jump is coming. Enemy eliminated. The airdrop is coming. Another thing I want to talk about is the health system and I noticed that the players are split in half. Some like it and others prefer the old one. And I feel like some players don't like it because it's new and they're not used to it. I was also a bit skeptical about it. But again, once you get used to it, I think you're gonna love it. The thing that makes this health system better than the old one is the fact that it gives you a fair fight, especially in early game. You don't have to look for a vest or an adrenaline anymore. Just grab an armor plate and you're good to go. We are up to the final stages of the game and it was chaotic. Everyone was just running in the open. Now normally if I play solo then I try to be more careful and try to avoid fights in an open area. Because ninja class isn't the best for this map. Unless you're near buildings, which you're mostly not. But since I have decent teammates, I played more aggressively because even if I die, they can revive me back. Enemy 
can notice the crazy accuracy of the MX-9 here with the hipfire boost mod. And by the way, these mods I have right now in the MX-9 are the best SMG mods for me. Hipfire boost with an expanded mag and a bit of range boost for an extra damage at mid range. <laughs> As for the AK-117, I was a bit disappointed with it. And I know it's a ground AK-117, but still, I don't feel like it does good damage and it's a bit hard to control even though I'm using lateral recoil mod. But maybe if you make a loadout build for it combined with 3 mods, then you can make it work. Quick tip here for ninja users, notice that I turn to the side just before I hit the rock. And that's to avoid climbing up the rock, which can get you killed. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.